today has been the most monday -y of Mondays ever. Uh, did want to share it with you guys though. The garden beds are finally done and they're all filled up with dirt. I just started planting these guys. This is a golden jubilee heirloom tomato. It's not looking so hot. We'll see how she goes. I don't know if she'll bounce back. We got some little baby jalapenos and then this basil. I don't know what it is, but I pretty much always kill basil plants. I don't know if it's just because it's not meant to live in something so small or what, but this guy's not looking so good. I'm gonna plant right here and see if it does well. These are really cool because you can adjust how much water is coming out and you can kind of poke this wherever you plant the plant. Oh boy, I've had quite the morning. My alarm, first of all, Leo had a grooming appointment this morning. My alarm was so quiet. That's been happening lately and I don't know how to turn my alarm volume up on my phone, but I didn't even know that it was going off. That was going off. Um, so I had to, I literally, his appointments, I, he's supposed to be dropped off at nine and my um, alarm was going off at 8.55. I finally just like saw it. So I had to rush to take him. Almost got in a car accident on the way. Um, I have all my filming and lighting equipment in the car uncovered. So it's like just flying around. Then I go in the motorhome to cook myself breakfast because I haven't had like actual breakfast with like eggs and stuff in like two months maybe. And I go in the motorhome, open the fridge, and there are ants all over it. The fridge has somehow, all the food's rotten in there. Um, not our fridge in the motor, or in the garage, that has other stuff in it, but like our small fridge in the motorhome where I was keeping like eggs and things like that to cook with are just like, it's, everything's rotten and there's ants all over it. So somehow the motorhome fridge got switched off and has been off for, I don't know how long, by the looks of it, probably just a day, maybe 48 hours, but there is some good news. You guys may not be able to tell because you're not living in this every day. However, we just got some of the framing done for the new pantry wall um, and den yesterday. So let me show you. So behind that green ladder is where the other, the left side of the entrance, the pantry is. Um, it used to be right there where that line is like this used to be the walkway all the way back to the door. So now we moved this wall out and our new walkway is right here. And I'm feeling really good about this because I thought this was going to be really awkward to like walk down here and like er, turn this way and then go out there. But this space is so much more open than I expected it to be. Like I'm going to even be able to put like a chair over here if I want or like a little corner table. Um, we're gonna switch the doorknob to that side. And now I can actually put like a cute picture up on the wall because this will be a wall. And like coming out of the door, I'm like coming out right here, like it's just almost a straight shot. Like you don't have to like jog over like any weird ways or anything. So it actually looks really fantastic. Um, and look how big the pantry is. Like just imagine this. It's hard to tell on camera, but like that will be drywalled and then there will be countertops lowers and uppers all right here, a big window. And on this side, we're gonna do some really shallow floating shelves with like one of those barn doors that kind of slide and cover it. Because I don't know about you, but every time I'm like looking for things in my pantry, I like buy extra cans of things and like extra sugar and just like random stuff. Cause I can't, cause they're too deep and like, I don't wanna shuffle everything around. So I just buy more. So with shallower, like maybe eight inch, like floating shelves, we'll be, I'll be able to see like everything that I have. And I'm excited about that. Like, I'm so excited, like bring back shallow shelves and pantries. Like, of course you need the deeper ones too, but um, I am very excited for those because I'll be able to like see everything that I have. So anyways, I'm starving right now and I really need to, to go, get some food. I need to clean out the um, motorhome fridge right now to get out all the rotten food and all the ants. So wish me luck. Putting in some can lighting. How did you, did you guys measure so that they're equidistant from those ones or like from the centers, those ones? You want us to measure it so it matches? Duh. <laughs> You're such a fucker. Oh, that actually moves back and forth. This moves back and forth. It's, it's this distance. 
that we're trying to measure? Yeah, I like your little overalls. How do you like my Bought those cans? on Mercari. What? The other cans, you see those? Oh, I didn't actually. I was too focused on you and those overalls. Nice. We are finally getting a little bit more work done on the place. So we have been getting quotes from people to pull up our flooring. Uh, I showed you guys there's one room that they like laid down the oak flooring with like liquid nails and it is so hard to get up. Nick and I both tried to do it ourselves. <clears throat> it's not working. Jojo, you don't need to go outside, sweetheart. Um, so we got this outrageous quote from somebody yesterday or two days ago and he wanted this insane price. Um, hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Hi, Gigi. Hi. Yeah, I know. It's so loud, huh? He wanted this insane price and he wanted to be paid up front. I was like, I don't know if you think I was born yesterday, but we're gonna keep looking around things. So I found this guy who... Uh, was recommended to me on next door and he came yesterday looked at it and was like this is my hourly rate and i was like that's fair and we both agreed nick and i and uh, he showed up at 7 a.m this morning and he got to work and it's exciting because we could probably use him for other stuff too so this was kind of what we were waiting on so we need to get the floor the rest of the flooring removed and the tile by the front door and then once that's done we can lay the concrete in the other room and we can also get the drywall up in which case then we can put the cabinets in, finally. Just got home, the guys finished. They did such an awesome job. Like this looks so good. They cleaned up super, super well. It's getting kind of dark in here. Hopefully I can show you guys, but they they got almost all of this completely done in one freaking day. The last guy said it would take four days and $3,000. Um, so this still needs to be taken up right here. But look at the dent they made in this room. This room is terrible. Um, this is the one with like the liquid nails. So they did such a good job on this and they're gonna get rid of all the glue and all that tomorrow. So I am super impressed. Are you like super impressed with how? So, so big, these guys crushed it. I was gonna say, do you want me to get a light so you can see? Oh, you can see it well enough, I think. It's not the best quality, but um, yeah, super impressive. So once that's done, then we need to lay the drywall in all of these areas. Well, we got to do the finish the electrical can lightings, move the plumbing because we're putting the sink in one of the islands here, and then all the drywall is going to go up. And then we put the cabinets in, and then flooring. And I'm starting to see Sanity. the light. The, starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, dude. Every delivery guy that walks by DoorDash is probably like these poor people every the fedex guy and the ups guy both every time they come they go are you done yet and that's months have gone by. we're like yeah we uh, demoed a little too early oh my goodness all right so the flooring is all up in the area that i showed you guys the other day look at this floor i am so impressed he did such a great job even piper liked it oh hi pretty girl um and this is basically ready for flooring to be put down. We do need to fill in just a couple little areas like this that the vinyl wouldn't sit super well on. So the last thing that needs to be done, um, they did work on a bit of the electrical, which you can't really tell today, and a bit of the plumbing because we need a pasta arm by the stove and by need, I mean, I would really want one. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, then we're moving this over a little bit and then we're having a little dog water bowl in the end of one of the islands for you and for Leo and for the kitty. So we're going to plumb that over here as well. And we need to run some water over here to where the bar is going to go. So once the plumbing and electrical is done, which is supposed to be done by the 15th of this month, which is October, uh, then we can drywall all of this so that we can use the heater or the AC if we need to. And then um, after that, our cabinets go in. And then after our cabinets go in, our appliances go in and our flooring gets done. This also needs to be filled next week also. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just a little ornament? Are you just a little living room ornament? Why are you so cute? Huh, why are you so cute? Okay, so nothing looks different over here, but this is finally all coming out for 
our bifold door. It's already looking so much brighter in here. This is gonna be coming out right here too, and the door is gonna be coming to here. It is eight o'clock in the morning, and it is freezing in here. Um, fall is full on setting in. I guess it doesn't help that the windows over here are open, but this is what really doesn't help. I think I might need to have a fire tonight. Um, so let me show you a little bit of what went down yesterday in the last couple days. Okay, so the wiring in our entire house is like completely messed up. So for instance, when you turn on the bedroom switch in our room, sometimes my bedside table light won't work. Um, sometimes it turns on the bathroom light when you turn on the closet light. Like they must have had like an amateur electrician do this because it's crazy. Um, I did actually electrocute myself on that a couple days ago. That was funny. Um, okay, so we have been going back and forth whether or not this old beam right here is fat enough this way to hold a bifold door. So this space is getting moved out to about here to accommodate a 60 inch fridge. But this whole thing is gonna be an open an opening like it is when our door is open. <clears throat> and just as a reminder, we are knocking out this wall back here and this one and it's gonna be open California living room, which kind of sucks because then we will no longer be able to count this as part of our square footage, but it is what it is. So we're putting a bifold door here and a new beam up there would cost around $1,000 in materials, Leo. You don't need to wait for her food. You just got your own gourmet wet food in the garage. Why are you standing there like a beggar? <laughs> so anyways, um, the two contractors that we have working on this think that it's gonna sag too much and what have you. So what we did was um, Nick was able to, I, my parents right now, I apologize, but I'm like still waking up. Nick's dad is actually an architect and um, basically told us that this, I mean, this house was built in 1986. He said, so that beam is basically like, not petrified wood, but like, just to give you an example, like that wood is not flexing, it's not wet anymore. It's, it's, it's where it's at, like it's not gonna sag. He also said that it's, this is more than thick enough for what we're doing. Um, so we, couple things in here. So this is our frame for our round window that's gonna go over here in our bar area. I'll have to show you the window. It arrived in like, I bought it on Home Depot's website and it was like, it's so messed up. Like it needs to go back. Like the way they packaged it, I'm shocked the whole thing's not shattered to be honest. Hi, what were you doing this morning? Why weren't you in the bedroom? Huh cutie? Huh little cute girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta go potty. You wanna go with me? Let's go. I just got home and it is like almost nine o'clock. And I have to say, I'm a little annoyed. It's Friday, so no one's coming to work on the house until Monday. And the other night, I came home and I had no power in the entire house. And I was like, I can't eat my food because the couch in the living room is covered with plastic. I'm like, I can't eat my food on the bed in the dark and stare at the wall with no entertainment. Like, so I went outside. I'm like, with a flashlight, I'm like, I guess I'm flipping all the breakers on. I don't know what it's going to do, but like, I'm not sitting here in the dark and eating food that I literally chopped on a little cutting board in the garage. So... I texted the contractor and I was like, hey, look, I had to turn all the power on. Like, I can't just sit here in the dark. Like, people can't live in a house with no power. Like, that's, no. So, not only was the power off when I got home again, but the water has been off all day today. And I just went to wash my hands because they're sticky. And of course, I have a full face of makeup on that I need to wash off. And the water is still off. So the other night when the power was off, I was like, ah, no big deal. Like, I'll go turn the thing on. Like, maybe he'll, you know, remember for this time. Like, I can't, you can't just, like, leave a whole house without power when I've got animals and 
I need to see like that was whatever and then knowing that I have no water now I was like okay this is really f annoying like and of course Nick is at work until Sunday and has been at work since Wednesday so I'm here all by myself to sort this shit out again <sighs> hello folks I survived the night with no water first thing this morning our guy was here to fix the situation for me Thank goodness. So I've been able to have water all day, which has been a blessing. So we're good there. Um, not much has changed in here, but I did want to show you, they did just frame out our round bar window and it looks so awesome. Oh, look how cool it is. So our counter is going to be coming up to about here-ish. And then we've got this round window. And once all of these walls back here are gone, we will be able to see right through. That will all be hillside that we can see right there. So pretty exciting. We were supposed to have drywall done the other day, but we had a very prima donna crew of people show up and the price that they told me, they added a zero to it, which was insane. And then they wouldn't do it because the drywall that Lowe's delivered on a forklift is about 15 feet away on the driveway and not inside the room that they were gonna uh, hang it in. So f them, then go f themselves. Yeah, we are going to be putting in some insulation ourselves and doing some more stuff on Monday. It's only Saturday right now, so I'm just gonna enjoy the weekend and plant some new plants. I got some new plants for the garden, so I'm gonna be planting those outside, which I'm pretty stoked about. And um, I'll have to show those to you guys when they are in, but that's where we're at.